This is what it looked like at Kyle's Lane and I-7175. Earlier on, you can see the snow coming down at a steady rate here. Traffic still moving at a pretty good pace, though, although the road is clearly wet. Our Michaelia White has been talking with drivers tonight. She joins us live now from Norwood. Michaelia? That's right. As you can see behind me, Julie, traffic is moving along pretty smoothly here in Norwood. This is I-71 going northbound, but as the snow has fallen and it continues to accumulate, it proved to be problematic for some drivers. Slushy roads, low visibility, and snow that just kept coming down proved to be an unwelcome mix for Finneytown drivers. It's get really hard to see and everything just because of the thick uh, snow flurries. So, I mean, the roads are getting pretty bad. A lot of accidents and everything. Yeah, I've seen probably three or four different accidents, cars hitting uh, poles and uh, sliding off and hitting the medians. And Heather Necrez recently moved to Cincinnati from New Jersey and says this weather will take some getting used to. I've about had it. It's warm one day, cold the next, and I kind of prefer to go back to the coastline. <laughs> Heather and her boyfriend Justin were among many who made a last minute trip to Speedway to stock up on necessities in preparation for tonight's storm. And many of those drivers say they're hoping spring will show up soon. Hopefully, this is the last storm we see till next one. And we will be keeping track of all the snow totals of all the storm uh, throughout the night. Stay with WCPO.com and um, WCPO for the latest. Michaelia White, nine on your side, live in Norwood. You stole my line, Michaelia. I'm going to remind him again. <laughs> Thank you for that report. We will be working throughout the night to keep you updated on the storm. You